All right, question number 87. There is a cylinder and inside it there is a spherical ball and there is liquid surrounding. And on top of that there is a massless piston which is floating. And above that piston a mass m has been placed. Naturally, when the mass compresses, the sphere would also be compressed. And as a result of which, there would be a change in radius and we need to calculate the fractional change in radius. So the question is a straightforward brought from properties of bulk matter. So let me just try to show it in the form of figure. So this is the, you know, sphere which has been taken and here is the cylinder, let me make it. And on top of that, a piston has been kept. So let's just make a piston and the piston is massless that has been given here. So this is the piston. All right, inside there is water or liquid whatsoever, hardly matters. So there is a liquid. And on top of this, we have kept a mass and the weight of the mass in fact compresses as a result of which the volume changes and we need to calculate the fractional change in radius. Well, the cross sectional area of the piston has been given as A. I think this is a very straightforward one and you must have already got the idea how to solve it. You see bulk modulus is minus dp by dv by v. And what I get is the fractional change in volume is minus of mg by e is the increase in pressure. The weight of the block has increased the pressure. So force per unit area and k. So this is the fractional change in volume. But the question has demanded the fractional change in radius and we know v is 4 by 3 pi r cube. And this is so simple now that the fractional change in radius is one third the fractional change in volume. And here is the fractional change in volume. All I need to do is divide by 3. So mg by 3ak is going to be the fractional change in radius. So mg by 3ak here I find. So option number 2 is going to be the correct one for question number 87. So, option number two is the correct answer for this particular question. Should we move to question number 88? All right, guys, let's go for question number 88, a straightforward one, and it has been derived from the topic waves. A granite rod of 60 centimeter length is clamped at its middle point and is set into longitudinal vibration. The density has been given, the Young's modulus has been given, and we need to calculate the fundamental frequency of the longitudinal vibration. Well, the fundamental frequency of the longitudinal vibration is straightforward V by 2L. And V being the speed of sound in that medium. And here is the longitudinal wave and that will have a speed of root Y divided by rho, where rho is the density y is the Young's modulus, l is the length, everything is there, you just require a slight amount of calculation, you would get as 5 kilohertz. So question number 88 will have a correct option of option number 4. Let's move to question number 89, the penultimate question. 